pressure for this team, and they'll try to pick up a couple more points tonight. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. The Canucks win the draw, and they'll start on the attack.
Besser's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. The Canucks have been the dominant team here midway through the first period, and they lead it. Quick feed to Pedersen. Denies him in close. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Canucks lead it 1-0. Clutterbucks won the draw inside his own end. Kane's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Demko. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Clutterbucks won the faceoff, but now let's see what they can do. Bertuzzi swooping in on the attack. Still has possession. He got all of that one. With a power forward in the game, you go north, south, then guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, we knew, and the entire bench knew that he was in trouble there, James. You just cannot play like that, and if you do, you're going to wind up hitting the showers early. The team's got to be satisfied about his contributions. He's used his zone ability to generate scoring chances, guys, and it's really worked out for him. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that goes off a body. Centering feed. Misses. Powers a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Denies it. He got all of it. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Pedersen's ready to take the draw here on this power play. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Grabs it in his own end. Slides it diagonally to Pedersen. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Tries to get it out of the zone. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are in a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Pass to Sadine. Sends one over. Unable to reach that one. Comes up with a monster save in front. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Canucks played along the wing. A chance in front. Oh, he made the save. But profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Studnika's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Chris's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out-battle, when you out-will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Silverberg's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. Puck slid down the ice. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Demko. Hughes has the puck against the half wall. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. Huge hit against the glass. I love the physicality in this game, but now there's going to be a stoppage in play, James, as that glass, it is broken. Clutterbuck's in a lot of pain here, James. You can see it in his face as he's hobbling and laboring, trying to get back to the bench. Anytime you're injured, you want to know exactly where the play is. You don't want to put your team in a vulnerable spot, but you got to get off. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, Demisa with the paddle save!
beats offensively. Back to the point it goes. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Back to the blue line. Rips it. Scores! Smokers on the board. That's his first of the year. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. Vancouver's extended the lead to two goals here in the first. Well, you can certainly see that there's jump to their step. They have their legs underneath them, and they've really dictated pace and controlled the game. Intercepted. Moves it quickly over to Pedersen. And to the offensive end right up the middle. Takes the pass. The Canucks have it now. Poked away in the neutral zone by Niskanen. Fires it on now. Over the line they come. Feeds it to Sadine. And that's stolen by Parisi. Rocked him in the open ice. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Gets the puck in deep. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Look at this, two on one. Shot! What a save! Oh my goodness, I thought they had it there off the rush. Michaels recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. And he takes the feed. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Slides it on over to Hughes. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And Ross taking it from his own end. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Here we go, two on one. Over the line. Shot blocked. Wow. Crisps opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Another faceoff looming here on this power play. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Sends a pass over. They score! And a shorty at that! Just love this goal, James. I mean, this is a PK. Not just a PK, but a power kill. They go and attack when they recognize the opportunity. And they create this chance, and they put it away. Cheryl. But they're certainly feeling good about themselves now, James. The body language has changed. They're on their toes. The confidence is lifted. It's a much-needed offense to get them within one. Johns wins the draw at center. And now he angles it across to Clutterbuck. Cuts to the front. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. On their heels, trying to clear. The Canucks gain control. Scores! of this power play. It's all about puck movement, and when you're going to let a shot go, you want to make sure that there's traffic net front, and that's exactly what happens. Goaltender screen, and they find the back of the net. 
Vancouver's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. Good read with the stick to break that up. And he slides it quickly to Sadeen. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Champions gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Pedersen's won the draw there on the attack. Dismissed that chance. Crisps made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Hollandville's got the puck. Vanek's penalty is almost expired. Angles it over to Kuzmenko. The Canucks in transition at center. Vancouver's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Slides it quickly to Sadine. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Vancouver's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net, and they lead here late in the first. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Oh, a tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Sends it quickly to Sadeen. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Moves it to Stahl. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Let's the wrister go. Scores! Oh, wow! Well, this keeps going back and forth, doesn't it, James? I'm not sure if the goaltenders like this very much. It's a highly entertaining game, but where's the defense? As long as we have a voice, I'm all for it. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Bertuzzi's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Long lead pass to Studnika. He got all of that hit. Takes the feed. Kane's carrying it ahead. Takes a shot. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Quick feed to Scandella. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Minnesota's looking to break out. Through center. Moves the pass in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Fans screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. They fight for it along the boards. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Vancouver is playing a strong game here in terms of possession and trying to get pucks to the net. They're really attacking and finding those lanes, and that's exactly what they need to do if they want to go up by more than one. And here's the pass to Besser. Rocks him on the play. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? From behind the net, looks to break out. Rocks him. Vancouver's ready to go on the attack. I'm not sure if he was ready for that hit, James, because he went down in a hurry, and it was hard. Now he's laboring. He's really struggling to get back to the bench where the trainers are waiting for him. Chris's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. 
Johns is on the receiving end of a huge hit. You've got to keep your head up and be aware of where the traffic is. Otherwise, that's what happens. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Canucks have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Minnesota's going to start with the puck in their own end. And Ross got the puck in his own zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Clutterbuck's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Gains the zone through center. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a save by Demko. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. The Canucks have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. Nice job tying up his opponent. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Fires it, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Directed over to Costa Square. On the attack and on the boards. Quick pass to Hoaglander. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Besser's tried a great move there. We all know with great hands he is in tight trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. The Canucks play it along the boards. He handles the pass. Not trying to take your job. Dishes it to Dermot. Hoaglander's got the puck along the wing. Can't keep a hold of it. Feeds the puck over to Prosser. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Takes a shot! Oh, what a glove save there! He read that perfectly! Vancouver's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, huge hit again. Yeah, here we go. They didn't like that one bit. They didn't like it because it was dangerous. We can't have that in the game, James. And this fight is sort of a policing, if you will, of the game. And that's why they've dropped the glove. Well, I think this is exactly what a lot of people came to see tonight, Cheryl. There's no love lost between these two teams. Every time they set foot on the ice, you know it's a heated battle. Both benches showing respect for each of their players that are heading over to the penalty box. That was a tough one. It's purely exhausting to be in a fight like this, and they're just corralling their stuff and getting back to the box. Well, with the chaos cleared, face-off now for both teams. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's turned aside by Demko. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Great poke check on the reach. Slides the puck over. Pass across to Champion. Slides it up to Garland. And that one's picked off. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Right in front. And that shot dies in traffic. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Studnika. Here's a chance. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. Vancouver's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. The Canucks win it, and now it's grabbed by Susie. Cuts to the paint. Oh, what a stick save. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes 
takes the puck at the point. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Parisi. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And he comes up big with the stick save to Nolliman with the paddle. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Turns that one away. More than half the period has expired. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Clutterbuck's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Handles the puck. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Denies him in front. Clutterbuck's return to the lineup certainly gives his team some added boost in offense as he gets a dangerous shot right off the hop. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. That goes wide. Vancouver's got to hold him it against the wall. Gets it over to Hoaglander. The Canucks take it along the wall. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And that goes off the player in front. Solid check to slow him down. And he takes the dish. Sends it in deep. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Silverberg's going to have to keep his head up, James. I mean, he caused that injury on a hometown player, and the crowd is frustrated, and they're booing every time he touches the puck. Teed up and turned away on his part. And he coughs it up with the pass. Vancouver's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Takes the feed up ahead. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Passes over to Vanek. Gaining momentum along the boards. Shot! Turns it aside with the glove. Depko's been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Vancouver's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just keep this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Canucks win the draw on their own end. Takes a hit on the play. Steal in his own end. Here's a shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. Bushkin's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is... Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, when you're in tight like that, you always want to make the goaltender drop and move first, James. And I think it's the bite, the pause, the fake sell of the shot that gets the goaltender to move one way, and then he moves it to his forehand and puts it in the empty net. 
Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Michaels won the draw here in the neutral zone. Looking to set up offensively. Vancouver's got the puck. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Wow, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And that's intercepted on the breakaway. Scores! Talk about swing on the finish with that one. He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, James. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time. A golden one it is, and he cashes in. Well, everyone on the bench is up on this one, James. I mean, great speed to be able to break away from the pack, and then you get in all alone with a goaltender, and you got the poise and patience to outweigh the move, and I just love the execution to finish off the deep. Minnesota's got to feel like they've got some extra energy now with that one goal lead here in the third. Well, you can see the finish line, but you're not there yet, so you got to make sure that you continue to press, James. you got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck. Don't give them an inch in all three zones. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Susie's got it along the wing. Locks it out of midair to keep control. Here they come on the rush. Here's the pass. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The Canucks pick up steam and are on the attack. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Taken along the wall by Besser. Grabs the puck. Sends it over to Silverberg. A big time hit on the play, and it's a whole lot of payback with that one. Well, if you're going to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. And he paid that huge hit earlier, and now he's got to take some hits for himself. A great skater who can turn on a dime, guys. His elite edges zone ability means not only can he turn quickly, but he carries that momentum into a new lane to create more space for himself. Now a quick pass to Vanek. And it's a quick pass to Stahl. Oh, what a move! He grabs the puck here at the point. Tries to get it to Niskanen. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. Uses the force on that hit. What a steal in his own end. Vancouver's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Oh, what a great save by Demko! <laughs> Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Nika's quick stick off the draw wins possession. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he feeds it down to Stahl. Takes it to the net. That's gloved by Demko. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Canucks win the draw. Moves it quickly over to Dermott. Play is called for offside. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Silverberg's had a great game offensively, James. He's been all over the ice, really buzzing around. A reason why he's got three points.
momentum. This next shift is critical. Well, he gets all of this one, and you know the players, they can shoot off one foot from behind them, in front of them, but this one's teed up perfectly right in his wheelhouse, and he gets all of it. Vancouver's determined effort has resulted in the tying goal in period number three. They've had a lot of pushback and a lot of fight in this game. They've been poised, they've composed, but now they're finding a lot of fire in their step and a lot of jump as well. And they've got the equalizer, and they've got to continue on, continue to press, and contribute more. Loose it to Kane. Minnesota's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Denies him with a save. Passes the puck loose. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Germans got control of it now behind the cage. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Receives the pass. Turns it over. Break out by Prosser. And there's the whistle icing the call. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Canucks win the draw. Center wins that clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with the tired group that they're playing against. Wax it into the offensive zone. Hughes plays it now. Quick pass to Besser. Puck picked up by Pedersen. And that's poked away by Parisi. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Centering pass! Couldn't complete the pass. Oh, he rocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that when James, the body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, the officials aren't going to let this go on, James. There's going to be coincidental calls here. No harm, no foul, though. Both of them are going to the box. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Minnesota's back home for their next game. And as they kick off, a bit of a lengthy homestand. So let's see if they can try to put together a little run here in front of the home fans. Clutterbucks won it in their own end. Up along the wing. Quick feed to Enroth. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The Canucks gain the zone. Moves the pass in front. And that's stopped. Takes the puck along the boards. Enroth's got it in the defensive end. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Quick shot! And there's the save. Slick feed. Puts it on net, gets a glove on it to make the stop. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the frame has been played here. We are all tied up in this one. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. And that caroms off a body in traffic. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up to the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Turn that chance aside. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at him. Oh, stops! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. You're taught when you're a little kid that you have to protect the interior of the ice and the defender caught way outside the dots. Has to hustle back to get to that coverage and by then it's too late. The Wild have been in a back and forth seesaw affair tonight. And here we are in the third period and they've taken a one goal lead. Well, yeah, and they can't change their mindset. They have to continue to attack and be aggressive. You never want to sit back and play too safe. Otherwise, your opponent is going to take it to you. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. 
And he takes the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Vancouver's game possession. Chase makes it! They score! Doesn't he, James? I mean, his one leg is almost on the ground as he bears down and lets it rip. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from ringside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I got to get to bed. See ya.